Hello and welcome to the follow-up video on pivot tables. Let's say that you make the same report every week or every month from the same table, perhaps from a SQL report. In the example from the previous video, you can imagine we make the same pivot table on a routine basis. We can use some Visual Basic code to automate the steps involved in actually making the pivot table. Here's some code from a book I read on the subject, and I thought this code was so useful I wanted to see how it works. So to demonstrate using it, I assigned the macro to this button here. So we're just going to click on it. And here's our pivot table. So basically with the click of a button, we just accomplished everything we did in the previous video. So I'm going to explain how it works. In this first step, it's actually just selecting the area, this data here, with which to make the pivot table. So if you can imagine how we were doing this manually, it's this very first step up here that says data A1 to D13. This next step down here that says worksheets add, if you can imagine how we were doing it manually, it's this next option where we can either select existing worksheet or new worksheet. And then this next step here that says table destination A3, on the new tab it's just selecting cell A3 to start the new pivot table. And then this next section down here, where it says pivot fields, it's just assigning each column to a quadrant down here in the bottom right, where you see filters, columns, rows, and values. And then this next step here that says active sheet name equals pivot table, that's a feature I actually added to name the worksheet pivot table, because if you add a new worksheet, it'll usually just say sheet with the next sequential number. And I thought it would look nicer to say pivot table. And then this last step here that says display field captions false. Normally, if you were to create a pivot table, it would say something like row, uh, row labels or column labels. And you don't really need to know that. You just want to see the months and, and the store location. So, so that, that just removes those. And so we're, we're going to demonstrate this with some additional data. If you were to do this every single month, you can imagine that by the end of the year, you would have something that looks like this. And it's a little overwhelming. So if you have this process automated, you can just click on this button, and now it shows the whole year's data, all nicely formatted for you. And this pivot table is much easier to view than this, this raw data over here. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below.